that God is evil. It's like creating a cookie monster with diabetes. And then watching them try to complete an impossible fast and sweets. But then dropping him into a street filled with chocolate cookies and cream. And then haunting him in his dreams with the consciousness of his disease. But then rocking him back to sleep and then mocking him with his dream filled with Keebler people. What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Jiggity, yes. Riggity, rise. Here with Pasiwa Carson. Vliggity, vlog. And to down here to talk about Black Wells, The Book of Eli, Volume 1, Apocalypse. Whew. That's a lot to say, man. That's a lot. That's a long title, brother. I dare you to say that twice. All right. Hosted by DJ Wado. Yes, they DJ Wado. Y'all know. DJ Wado, of course. Yes, that guy right there. Let me ask you this, brother. We ask every guest at the end of the show. What you put on your pancakes, dog? You put syrup. You put butter. You put strawberries. You put great food. What you put on your pancakes, dog? Or you just eat it plain, man. Nice. All right. So yeah, that DJ Wado, he hosts this. Is it considered a mistake? This album, whatever, free album. Now, I'm gonna talk about this album. It's not too much I don't like about this album. I've heard Jay Blackwell stuff in the past, but not anything where I felt like I, you know, I had to review it. So. This is the first project I felt like, you know what I'm saying, I, I must review because I like the whole project. Um, of course, when you think of Carolina rap, you think of, well, when I think of right now, of course, the hottest of them from Carolina, Mr. J to the Cole, J. Cole, of course. Back in the day, you had Petey Pablo. I remember y'all, some of y'all remember that, some of the old school people remember that. Petey Pablo. And of course, you got the legendary Knife Wonder. And of course, Little Bruh. Alright, Little Bruh. Alright, Fonte, and all that. Um, what I like about this project, uh, even though this, there are like freestyles on here, like the majority of the songs on here feel like a freestyle. And I don't mean a freestyle where somebody just saying, you know, nonsense, but you can tell like a lot of it, it feels like he's coming off the dome. But it still makes sense and it still sounds good. And I like that vibe to this whole album. Like I said, there are some freestyles on here. But I like the whole freestyle vibe of this album. Uh, this is going to sound like a, a, a negative, but I don't mean it in a negative way. Another thing I like about this album, though, <clears throat> is that it it's, has an old school feel in, in a lot of ways. From beat selection... To his rhyme style with the punch lines, like I said, it has this freestyle feel to it. But even just the type of rap he does, like it, it's not really popular now. So it's really a throwback. I guess you could say like Joey Bad. They're not the same type of artist, but when you think of like a throwback artist, but still in modern day, you think of someone like a Joey Bad. He has sort of like that that type of vibe where it feels like has that old school feel to it but you know it has a modern flavor to it like it's like a battle rap sometimes he does you know sometimes he does like a little conscious rap but overall it just has a different feel to it, it doesn't feel like a like like it's songs on here you know what I'm saying concepts and songs but a lot of it feels like that like a fun type rap to it I like his wordplay his punchlines um Production wise, I'm not sure. Now it says on here, um, the guy producer, I believe his name is uh Ten, right? Phaeton. Right if I pronounced that wrong, brother. Phaeton Ten Horton. Now, I don't know if he produces the whole album and then just some songs like the obvious like the Raekwon and the uh Jay Z joint. Um were industry beats or are there other industry beats I just don't recognize. But Overall, I like the production on here. You got some stuff has that, you know, that Kanye West, um, RZA sped up sample vibe to it. Um, definitely some East Coast, some boom bap on here. Um, as far as his, his writing style in terms of, 
Like, is he a Christian rapper or rapper is a Christian? I would say he's somewhere in between. Yeah, he's, you know, he makes, you know, scriptural references, spiritual references throughout. And it's no denying that you can hear his faith in the music. But at the same time, it's not like, you know, very gospel centered and like you know in terms of like every song is addressing the issue of salvation it's not like that either so to me i think it's a it's a good balance where a non-christian might listen to this and i'm not saying they wouldn't notice he's a christian but it's not as overt as some you know christian rappers so to me he has a good balance where i think a lot of this could reach the world and they might take some of the things he says is you know like kicking knowledge uh, some of my favorites and I'm not going to go through every song but uh, some of my favorites on here um, For Ride now he says on here he wrote this in 10 minutes but again uh, what I love about it like I wouldn't be able to tell that he wrote this honestly it just feels like a freestyle so just, you know what I'm saying, there's some dope wordplay, some punchlines, etc. on here. Uh, getting good. Now, of course, we spoke about Little Brother earlier. This definitely has a Fonte type of vibe to it. Uh, relationship type of song. <clears throat> this definitely, like, cool, laid-back type of vibe to it. Light on the grind. Brother trying to say, trying to find a good job. I can relate. We can relate here in Detroit as well. Probably got it worse than he do. All right. So I can relate to that. Having you got to have all these qualifications, trying to get a good job, and all these master degrees and all this type of stuff. Trying to get it don't work. Uh, another one of my favorites on here is Snoopy. Now I don't know if this song has been sampled. The peanuts has been sampled for. I'm not sure, but. I've always wanted this song sample, and I, I don't know if this is rich or not, but it's dope. I love the, the, the Snoopy vibe to it, and I always wanted to hear somebody rap over this beat. I got some other songs as well, but it hasn't happened as yet. But this is definitely one of those songs I always wanted to hear somebody rap over it, um, over that beat. And even even um, the other parts of the song that's not sample, I always want to hear somebody rap over that. Um, so yeah, overall, I definitely you know feel the the freestyle vibe, the battle rap type of vibe mixed with the Christian lyrics. Um, the album flows well. It's definitely a mixtape you should download. I mean, he's not an East Coast guy. He's from the care, like I said, from the Carolinas. But definitely, if you're an East Coast fan, you would enjoy this. If you're a fan of you know that. South, you know, that uh, was a North Carolina type of rap, like Little Brother and stuff like that. You would definitely enjoy this as well. So, that's my thoughts on this. Love to hear yours. Proceed with Carson Blog and uh, Kobe sucks. I don't care how great he's doing, Kobe sucks. I'm out.